Hello. Howdy, howdy. I was just can I sit? Yeah. yeah. I was just curious, like, what this was. Um, this is Honey's Age Play Month. Honey ran away. I don't know where he went. Um, you know exactly where he went. So a whole bunch of age players. We get together every month, just hang out, friends, block, rot, lottery. So sometimes we do activities like the other month we had a water balloon fight, which was really cool. Um, most times we'll just meet up at local restaurants and have lunch and talk. And so what's the? I've never. I'm. I'm new. This, this is the yeah. age play flag. It was made in the '90s. Um, Age play basically involves anybody that plays, that role plays, um, and changes their age. So schoolgirls, uh, yeah, yeah schoolgirls, you know, daddy boy, uh, ABDL, which are people that do younger ages and stuff like that, and basically any age in between. There's also people that play older ages. I'm trying to stop it, but that yeah, good point. That is there, yeah. Uh, yeah, so Honey runs a bunch and he does a lot of educational stuff. Who's Honey? He's the person that's not here. Oh, is this back. like his booth? This is yeah. His, his booth. Yeah. I've never seen it. I was just I saw the crib and I was like, what? A, I, I I'm still learning. And I understand the pup thing. Okay. Yeah. So, so I'm just trying of, to. A lot of age players, like younger age players, go by Littles. That's the term that you'll hear uh, most most commonly. Uh, and most Littles are also into things like BDSM or rope. So a lot of those those things will integrate into their age life. Well, we do so like, I guess I have questions, but I don't want to be offensive. No, go ahead, go straight it. up, right? go off, straight I feel up. Like that's We're like, the two people you're not going to offend. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I guess I don't know. Um, I don't know. I guess I don't understand, but I, I guess it's not for me to understand. Right? It's just to I mean, accept, right? I mean, some of us don't even understand it. It is just who we are personality-wise. You know Closer, is that okay? Yeah, yeah. It's like, sorry, I'm hard of hearing. Yeah, I'll so, go. That's funny. Uh, most of us, well, <laughs> except him, everyone else in this that's here today is hard of hearing or deaf. Yeah. So, okay. <laughs> um, so, like, you know how there are dynamics where it's like an older gay man and a younger gay man, and one will call him daddy, and daddy takes care of younger gay man. Okay. In an age play, you would have like a daddy dog or a mommy dog. And that's somebody that takes the role of the more responsible person. Um, and basically, it's not necessarily being responsible for them, but playing as the responsible party and being responsible for them. You know, saying, eat some food, or take a nap, or go to bed on time. Um, you misbehave, go to the corner. Yeah, and then there's fun times. There's, there's spanking, there's humiliation, there's... And is this like a sexual thing, or...? It can be either. You know, for a lot of people it's sexual, and for some people it's not. Is this the, uh, sorry, forgive me, I'm not trying to be offensive. No, you're but is good, this you're good. Same, is this the same thing as, like, uh, the diaper thing? Yeah. It's it, the same it thing? It can be, different? so there, there's the two sides of that, too. There, there's the diaper thing that is just those who are sexual diapers, and then there's the age play, so that those are diapers who age play, like, the so younger age. there's that, ABs, which is, like, adult baby, and then there's diaper lovers, which is... DL. So, A, B, D, L. Uh, oh, so that's what they stand for. Yeah, yeah. and so, th since the groups are so similar, they they always just kind of combine. This yeah. is funny. Oh, hi. This is, yeah, this is our host. I was just trying to understand and ask questions, figure it was a good time to come talk. Sure. It yeah. seemed empty in here, so I'm like, oh, I can go and <laughs> yeah. not be a bother. <laughs> no, never. You always do a great day visitor. Yeah, no worries. Um, How are you, honey? I'm, I'm Frank. Uh, nice to meet you. So they were just kind of educating me on it. This is this is separate from no, that. They're the same. This, this is, is all the same. So this yeah. is just a hangout area. For this is our little play area. Our crayons, our coloring, yeah. our relaxing. For people to cool down. And do you, so this. I'm assuming is it an outfit thing or is it just like? A, so yeah, yeah. I mean, like in, in any of the the kinks, like there is certain garb that people wear to help them feel more more part of it. Like so, there's leather. You know, people have their leather jackets, their leather skirts, their their whatever. And that helps them kind of get in the mood. For age play, you know, there's things like onesies or cute dresses or schoolgirl school outfits. And this uh, is, and forgive me, you said
said this this kink, this is a sexual thing or it's it's, it's a kink. And it's a kink. So it can be sexual, but it can also be non-sexual. So what do you mean, like non-sexual? Like non-sexual in the sense of like, say, let's say for example, color coloring for some folks can be non-sexual. Like digital toys, watching cartoons, different things like that can be non-sexual for folks, or even just hanging out in certain environment, like Shani said. Basically, therapeutic. It's a method of starting. Of starting. Uh, therapeutic. That's therapeutic. what I was kind of yeah, yeah. so like, getting to. I think yeah. that's where like I thought it was yeah. more. So fun. yeah, yeah. Like there, there is definitely like a cathartic aspect for those that aren't that don't do anything sexual while they're in that headspace. Um, and so like yeah, things like coloring, things like cartoons, basically a space where you can feel free to to kind of be a kid again. Yeah. Well, I appreciate this though. Yeah, yeah there's tons of um, I can keep there. this? Yeah. yeah. Okay.